Hello again, good people. This is Big Baby J. Another episode of Final Fantasy 16. As you know, we got a side quest to take care of, and we got two hunts that we're going to take care of this episode. While we add it, let me show you. I made a few changes. I added Heat Wave to my repertoire. I got rid of uh, uh, what's it called? Let's go here. I got rid of uh, this right here, Willow of the Whisk Bikes. Okay, I got rid of that, and I upgraded. Got this, got Heat Wave, added that, and I also added Lightning Rod. So I used a few ability points and made that happen. So now let's go ahead and we need to make our way. Oh well, hold on just for a second. Um, while we add it, uh, I put Lightning Rod here and Heat Wave right here. So. Now we're going to practice with that for a little while. I do need to go over here to this area here. Martha's wrist. Okay. We got two hunts in this vicinity. But first we're going to take care of this quest over here. So we might as well come here now and go ahead and get that done. Uh, we're gonna take care of a hunt along the way. It's along. It's, it's in a, it would be in our way. Well, not quite be in our way, but it's along. We can take a path that leads to it. So we're gonna go ahead and face off with this uh, this boss real quick. Well, hunt real quick. Let me see now. I need to move over to the right. Take the path over to the right. So let's get to it. With these new abilities, I'm not very sure how well I will perform in battle, but I am going to give it a try. And I think that's him sitting over there now as we speak. So, yeah, that's him there. Yep, that's our guy. Severian. The hell is this thing doing? Oh. Too slow. No, you don't keep that sword to yourself. There you go. He don't. Give me your head. Oh. No, sir. No sir, not again. Oh, you don't. Let's get it now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get it. Come on. You're a fine hand. Let's try. 
No, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Too easy. Got me an Electrum. All right. Down you go. I'm going to need some more potions. But, nonetheless, job done. I could have done that a little better if I had the abilities that I'm used to, accustomed to fighting with, but trying something new here. Oh, uh, look who we got oh, here. The go the goblin. Let's see if that down oh, enough for more than this. this over here oh we got some big stuff over here no you don't sir You don't, sir. Let's go ahead and get it. Too bad stagger damage. Uh, 
on, get it back. Oh, you can save it. Okay, you can turn it off when you get ready. Cool. I just realized that I don't have to burn through it all. I could turn it off if I got some left. Very nice. Bright yellow. These are our Morgan. I thought right. once you activated it, well, you can. Uh, I've gone to this much trouble. You had to let it burn out. <laughs> but if you have some remaining, you can keep it. Which is cool. Man. I can home. keep it. I thought I'd been over here. I guess I hadn't. My fill of goblins. Cause I never did get that. Okay, we got another hunt we need to go take care of. And since I'm gonna change this ability. Yeah, I don't want this no more. Um Let's get Thunderstorm. Yeah, let's apply Thunderstorm this time. You know what? I can make a shortcut. Let's go back over here because I still got this other hunt to deal with. And I believe he is just around this way here. Wait a minute. Let me grab me some potions. Because I might not be able to deal with this guy like I intend to, but just in case. I should be able to take him, but I'm not going to take the chance. Anything catch your eye? Okay. Let's get three of them. We got to be good. Very much. Take care out there, eh? All right. Now we need to make our way back over where we where we're we gonna start to. So there should be another hunt down this area here. Somewhere. Let me see. I think it's maybe behind here. <clears throat> yep, there he is. That's our other hunt. <clears throat> so let's take him out now. This guy is tough. I hate minotaurs, they always give me trouble. No, sir. Not gonna happen.
Yeah, you getting it. You getting through some. That's what I'm talking about. Get you some. Yeah, we gotta give you some, for real. Not too bad. Go, no, sir. No way. Not going to happen. Go. Nope. Got to get you. Got to get you. <laughs> okay. That was wicked. You gotta look overconfident that time. That's okay. We're going back and get him. He's gonna pay for that. And this time I I do a lot better than I did last time. Yep, I will do a lot better than I did last time. Because when you get hit with that attack, it's over with. That ain't right. There you go. Yeah, let's get him now. going for that twice. You already did me bad. got to get this guy. He has to get the full full effect.
Get him. Hammer him. Right, we gotta get him. That's what you was trying to do to me a while ago. And I made a mistake and got hit by it. Yeah, we gonna beat you down this time. I had to get you. I had to get you. You beat me down last time. Good. Level up. Outstanding. Well, yeah, you, you was long overdue. All right. All right. Now, let's head back. Turn this quest in. Which way do I need to go? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see what rewards do I have. I got some rewards I need to pick up real quick. I wasn't expecting you back, so. You got a swelling chorus, pillow talk. Oh, we got a prayer of safe travel, a cleric's medallion. You earned this. Okay. All done. Well, that's, I guess that's pretty good. All right, now. Go ahead and uh, turn this in. Nope, I can't go that way. Yeah, that mentor kicked my butt. I wish I could fight him again. I need to fight him again. Just cause. I mean, he actually beat me down. He killed me. And that Raging Bull was no joke. You ain't calling that, and it's almost basically a game over. Because he hammered me with that club, and I wasn't ready for it. But, okay. Let's get here real quick and see what we're going to get here. It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? We got a Morgan beard. Uh, yeah, turn that in. And we get... I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tome. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part. But it's odd. They 
Remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the court physicers grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. What are we getting here? Hope it's something good. And here we are. A vial of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. Quest complete. Uh, adding but a drop of this concentrated extract to any curative or performance enhancing potion will increase its potency. So, insist Nigel of the backyard. Necessary for increasing consumer potency. So, it's an accessory? Okay. Oh, okay. Consumer potency enhance. So my potions will do more work now. All right. You have obtained a file of Morgan Man extra hereby increasing the potency of most consumables. Both potion and high potion now restore more HP while strength, stone skin, and lion heart tonics last longer. Okay. So they, Uh, okay, restores twenty four percent instead of twenty percent and forty eight percent. Okay. All right then. So I got a few extra percentages. All right. Where do we need to go here? Okay, we got to visit the infirmary. So let's do that. We might as well progress the storyline a little bit. Let me see now. Yeah, I'm going the right way out. That's what I need. I'm getting kind of confused here. Turn it around. Make sure there's nothing else to be done. We can stop by the hunt board on the way back. Make sure we have no more hunts. So that item we received was not a, an accessory. It just increased the potency of my curatives, which I really do need, by the way. It would be nice if it uh, increased the number of potions and stuff I could have. But, well, I guess that'll come later on, maybe. Okay, now let's get to this infirmary. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Understood. And thank you. curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. Lady 
you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Well, you got some impeccable India. timing. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? what? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid, but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. Mm, so we're going home now. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Yeah, I guess we need to go talk to Otto, huh? Kukas is calling us out in my own hometown, no less. Well, we just gonna have to face him head on. We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's notice. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Okay. Let's get over here and talk to her then. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave... Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge... Uh, can't hurt? <laughs> we are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? Woe well, there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. 
But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province but to draw you out. Hmm. A well laid plan, I see. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. They cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Okay, now let me see if there's any more hunts that may be available to me now. Back to the hideaway. See if we got any more hunts before we leave. You give that rotten sod exactly what he deserves. That's the plan. I'm going to give him exactly what he deserves. Nothing is available. Okay. Let's check out weapons. No, I don't want to look at you. I'm going to check out weapons. I got an Electrum. Maybe I can create something in the forge. Never hurts to go prepared. Take care, Clive. You go. Clive. 
tired, will it be? Drake Slayers. Uh, what about this? I need a dragon. No, I need a Gatin Gladness Mass. Okay. So I can get the Drake Slayers built. So let's do that then. Did last you a good while. Let's see if we can reinforce. Okay. But I can't reinforce, but that was an improvement, so really can't be too mad about it. Now. All right. Tell you what, let's go ahead and end it here. And uh, I'm gonna do some off screen, uh, see if I can try to do some grinding. And uh, when I come back, we'll head on over to Rosaria. All right, people, thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.